through the naughty bucket. You might recognize this from video 722. Andreas sent this to me from Germany. He sent a couple of these things. This is a CES Euro cylinder still. Just ignore that. That's some kind of German epoxy permanent tape. So if you need to tie somebody up, that stuff's ideal because it doesn't come off. But anyway, that's what the key looks like. This, as I said, this is an older one. It doesn't have the spine down the back, so this one can be snapped. And on these older ones, normally you have a mixture of what I think are standard security pins. Let me zoom in just a little bit here, show you this keyway. Uh, usually got maybe um, a serrated and a couple spools and then some standards. No big deal. The newer CES have some pretty exotic uh, pins. Anyway, it is paracentric, but the odd thing about these older ones is, although it looks very paracentric, uh, this is really, it's only on the face. Behind that little warding right there, you can still reach up and get those pins. It's not that difficult to get at them. Newer ones, eh, it's a different story. All right, I'm going to try to pick this one. I'm going to hold it in my hand. Um, by the way, it does work beautifully. It's still sealed. Get in there, you devil. And still sealed. So we're not going to be gutting this. Uh, I don't want to ruin the lock. All right, I'm going to try some bottom of the keyway because again it's very paracentric but I'll be able to now work on the top of the keyway without getting in my own way with a tension wrench from top of the keyway. I'm going to use a 15 thousandths to kind of get up in there and on the CESs, let me just slide that all the way to the rear there before I apply any tension. Uh, normally if you can get a fault set after that uh, it's really a piece of cake and usually a standard pin is the one that uh, that holds everything up. So find the standard pin, you'll get a fault set, and from there, pretty easy picking. I'm going to put heavy tension, and I found, let's see, it feels like pin three. And I put heavy tension for the first pin, because after that, you have to use very light tension. Okay, that was two. I'm on four. He feels like a binder. Got to click on him. There's like two again. And now I've got a fault set. So two apparently was the last standard pin. So let's go in there and find those security pins. I should have two left. And the way you know you found one, I just brushed against it there. Notice we're getting a little bit of counter rotation there. So that tells me that number three is a spool. So let's go ahead and set him. Very deep spool. Come on. Oh, well, he was the last one. So there you go, Andreas, your CES. These older ones are not that difficult to pick. Newer ones, different story. It's probably going to live in the naughty bucket for quite a while. Anyway, Andreas, thank you, sir, for the lock. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal.